Hello everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to uh, do some major surgery on my little adenium here. Adenium, adenium, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, if you can phonetically spell it in the uh, comment section below, please do. I don't know if I'm saying it right, don't know if I've ever said it right. It's all good. Uh, Desert Rose. This plant, I've had it for a number of years. Uh, it has been neglected and looked after and then neglected and then looked after and uh, yeah <laughs> it, it hasn't flowered since I got it and uh, that was uh, probably 10 maybe more years ago it's a very long time ago so and it really hasn't grown anywhere um, so it has been moved to a smaller pot for a number of years it actually wasn't even in a pot uh, it was just a, a root ball kind of sitting outside of a pot, just looking pretty sad. But uh, a number of you have told me that uh, for them to do well, they need to have more soil in their root systems. So we're going to take this opportunity and increase the pot size by a couple of sizes. Um, so I do know that the roots uh, really seem to grow well on these things. Uh, I have some seedlings that are doing quite well and the roots are, are, are massive in comparison to the size of the plant. Um, so we'll increase the size of the plant. I want it to bush out a little bit more because it's really not doing anything. It's kind of sad looking. Uh, every winter this, uh, this plant loses its leaves and it just goes dormant. And then in the springtime I start watering the plant again because I stop watering it when the leaves are gone. And uh, it starts to come back. but. Uh, it just it just does this. So I'm going to chop things back. Uh, I've been reading that that uh, that this particular type of plant doesn't really take well to pruning, so do it sparingly. Uh, but then again, I've seen some uh, uh, in some gardening forums that uh, they they hack them back more than half and they come back just fine. So we're going to hack it back. We're going to see what happens. I've got another plant that that seems to be excuse me that seems to be doing quite well for me. This one has never really done much, so uh, since it doesn't want to do very much, we're gonna we're gonna play with it. If it dies, it dies. If it if it survives and thrives, then uh, even better. So I always put a piece of paper towel in the bottom of my pot to keep the soil from uh, from escaping out the bottom. I'm going to put some all-purpose soil in the base of the pot here because I know that it's a bigger pot I'll need more soil in the bottom Doo -doo -doo. okay so I don't really need to uh, play with the roots too too much because there isn't much root there it's like a big potato um, underneath here you see that that's it's like it's like a sweet potato under under the ground. It's crazy. So I'm just gonna kind of rest it at the same soil level it was when it was in the other pot. We'll just uh, fill around that with uh, with some soil. Not very much left in this bag. Makes it difficult. This what I'll do is. Roll the bag up. Oh, it's so hot out here today. I think it's uh, 29 degrees Celsius right now. But in the sun, it's, it's even hotter. Here in Canada, it gets very humid. So it makes it feel like it's hotter. Probably, if it's... Uh, 29 degrees Celsius, it's probably close to 35 degrees, factoring in the humidity. Feels really hot. These compressed bags of soil are hard to start. <laughs> Fill in all the air pockets around here. 
it'll like this bigger size pot. It's not too much bigger, but it's uh, it's enough. As you can see, there wasn't a lot of root. There was a, like a trunk in there, but the little fibrous roots, there wasn't a lot of those. So that's what hopefully will be growing with this new soil. I'd really like to see this plant survive all winter with leaves on it. My, uh, my seedling does, but this one, maybe it's a different variety. Alright, so we're all potted up here. And uh, what I'm going to do, I just, uh, I just cleaned off these pruners. I'm just going to, this plant does bleed, so uh, just stay clear, it is a poisonous plant. So, I'm just going to... Well, this isn't cutting as well as I thought it would. They squish. I'm just chopping these back. I'm going to leave this one on there because uh, it's branched off. There's three little babies here. Oh, it's not bleeding as much as I thought it was going to. All right. So we'll do an update video on this uh, later on in the summer to see uh, see how it's looking. Um, hopefully we get some, some new buds grow uh, on the stems. And uh, hopefully it branches out and is a much healthier looking plant. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, I look forward to making more updates on this one.